Welcome to this video on how to set up jQuery. My name's Andy Wicks and in this brief video I'm going to explain a little bit about jQuery, show you how to get a copy and show you how to install it into your site using Kodi. Let's start at the beginning. jQuery is like an extension to HTML. Think of it as extra commands that allow you to do special things. jQuery is excellent and you'll find a lot of videos on, the, uh, on YouTube that show you how to use jQuery. But this video is about how to obtain it. First of all, go into your favourite browser, go into your favourite search engine and type in jQuery. Usually the first item on the list will be this jQuery.com. Go to the download link and click on that. That takes you to a page that shows you where you can get hold of all sorts of materials about jQuery. But if you scroll down, it's, there's a download jQuery section. In there, there's a current release and go for the uncompressed. If you click on that, you get all the code for jQuery. Now what you'd normally expect to happen is to download a file from the internet and save it somewhere. No, this is the actual code of jQuery. It's written in a language called JavaScript. And JavaScript is a language that comes with all browsers. Instead of you having to write all sorts of routines in JavaScript to get certain things to work, you just download jQuery and it's all written for you. So how do you get hold of it? Well, Control and A highlights everything on the page. Control and C copies it. Now that's all the text and you can scroll through that if you want. You'll find it fairly dull reading. But now that we've got a copy of it, we're going to open up Notepad, which is an ordinary text editor. Nothing clever, no bells and whistles, just a good proper text editor. And when we get in there, I'll do Control and V. And that is all the text from jQuery. That's all that code copied and pasted into a text file. You'll see that there are over 9,000 lines of code. That's 9,000 lines of code that you haven't had to type in. That's quite good. Now we need to save this. So if I click on the Save button and go to wherever it is that I want to save my work. In this case, I'm going to save it to my hard drive. Uh, and in a place called Sites. And I'm going to call this file, and this is now important, Q-U-E-R-Y dot J-S. That's a little j, capital Q, U-E-R-Y dot J-S. That shows that it's a JavaScript file, and I'm going to save that. I've already got it on there, so I'm just replacing it. I can now close this and go back to my Kodi page. In Kodi, I log into my website and now on the little starry thing at the side, click on Upload. It asks for a file to upload, so I'm going to choose a file. The file I want is on my hard drive, sites, now down to jQuery, double click on that and that's it chosen. Now I can say upload from the computer and I have to wait a moment. There's a little green tick which is good and in just a moment click I'm done there it is. It's now in my proper directory. That's a good thing. Uploading jQuery is as simple as that. You can now use it in all your work. And we're going to look at how you create the work 
in future videos.